Today I wanted to do a garden tour. Since it's at the end of the season, everything's a bit messy, but the first thing I wanted to show you is the potatoes, and they grew really, really well this year. Now, I did grow them in some of the worst compost I've ever bought. It was full of glass but it grew some very, very nice potatoes. I've left some of them in the buckets that you can already see outside, but these are the ones that we're still getting through, and this bucket was full. I've left the potatoes outside, just cut off the top so that they can stay in the soil, and when they're ready to be used, then I will dig them up and use them. Over here, I've got those bags of awful, awful compost. I didn't end up putting them in the garden because they were full of glass and eventually I'm gonna have to figure out how to get rid of it because there's no way it's going in my soil. But things can still grow in it for the moment. So I've put some squash plants. You can see some of them growing over there. Some corn, there's some more of the female squash plants over there. And there's also a fair few male plants coming up. And if you're wondering what the difference is, you see that little bulb at the bottom of the plant? That's when it's a female plant. And when there's no bulb behind it, that's the male plant. To be honest, I'm not really expecting a crop from this. I planted it way too late, but it was mainly just to stop the cats from getting in there. Everyone in my neighborhood has a cat and they like to use my garden as a big litter box. So anything to stop them from doing that, I was going to do. And I might be lucky and I might get some squash out of it, but to be honest, I think the frosts are going to come before they can get to a decent size. So I'm not really holding any high hopes. The next thing, which is probably my favorite piece of work on the garden to date, is this very temporary potting shed that I made just from all the scraps around in the garden. Before we had all the potting stuff in the polytunnel and it was a real waste of space. So I used all the canes and the spare cord that we had and great big tarp that we hadn't used since we bought the house, which was four years ago. And it's decluttered so much rubbish that I just had floating around the garden and it works. We've had two really torrential downpours and this area has stayed dry. I've got all my tools, which I regularly need in the garden, easily accessible. There is the downside of having a very, very broken rain pipe, which um, is filling up this bucket over here. It does make filling up the watering can a bit easier, but like I said, this area is temporary. I only had a day to throw this together, so it will do for the moment. Lavender bush, which my mum gave me, and then some strawberries, which my mother-in-law gave me, which are quite incredible because they are constant croppers. So you're not just going to get them in spring or summer or late summer, they're constant. And it's a variety called Deliz. This is only the first year, so I'm hoping to get some runners and get more of these but for the moment it's just this small patch and then I thought I'd show you this area so this is where the kitchen scraps are going to go over here that's where the ash bath is going to go this is for the quail by the way I have sorrel planted there spinach which is still small but it will grow red and white clover then I have some red and green foxtail millet over here I have rainbow chard some lamb's lettuce in between this space on the bricks and then some oats and rye which are growing over here. Now this is only the first few months and this is the area that I want for the quail cage. I'm going to be putting slender lespedeza, amaranth, poppy, nigella, sunflowers. This whole area is going to be an enclosure which will be full of plants that these animals naturally eat just so that it's the perfect habitat for them. I figure that way you get some very healthy, very happy birds. And as a bonus, a lot of these plants which I grow in here are also edible for people as well. So things like the clover can be used for making clover wine. This, which is lamb's lettuce, is really, really nice and can get used in salads, as can the sorrel. Once a Swiss chard and the spinach is a bit more established, I'll be able to use those as well. But I won't be getting the quail yet just because I need the plants to get established. Otherwise, all that's going to happen is those seedlings are going to get eaten and I won't get a nice habitat grown and healthy enough before the birds move in. Next you can see the apple trees which are going to be grown on espalier style are doing very very well. This is only the first year now that we've had them. Over here I planted some rhubarb which was in a pot that my mum had. It does look a little bit worse for wear but you should have seen what it looked like while it was in the pot. It's already looking so much better and over here which I'm really excited about and I know this looks like it's been attacked by slugs because it has but this is wine cap mushroom and i put wine cap mushroom spawn in the wood chips about six months ago and it's taken so now that these have come up i know that the spawn is definitely in the wood chips 
and this stuff is going to keep growing continually so it's the kind of thing that you put in the wood chips you have to make sure that that area is constantly damp and watered but it's in there now so i should have a constant source of mushrooms popping up everywhere these are the two blueberry bushes then i have a bush variety of blackberries and those little blocks are eventually going to have large pots on them for things like raspberries which i really don't want in the soil because they'll go everywhere then I have some golden oregano, I have some tiger nuts which I am going to have to empty out and get all the nuts out of the soil soon. I have some thyme over here and then I have this raised bed which for the moment looks very very messy but it did have a whole load of things growing in it early on in the year. I had some tomatoes which really didn't handle the cold weather but at the moment what I'm doing is I'm burying the kitchen scraps, I just need to bury those in a minute. And then over here I have some blue lake beans, these were an accident I didn't mean to grow these but it kind of fell in the soil and just decided it wanted to live and then I have some leek next to it along with some chickpeas while we've already eaten a fair few of the leeks I could have let them get bigger but to be honest I just wanted to eat them already so a lot of these have gone I have also been growing the chickpeas which has been amazing I didn't realize how delicious fresh chickpeas are but for the most part it was an experiment and a way to just keep the cats out of the raised bed because it does bush so wildly it was fantastic to just keep them out of my raised beds so this is eventually going to have to be harvested and then over here what i've got is two different kinds of chives i have chinese chives which are these white ones and oddly enough the flowers smell amazing they don't smell oniony at all it's a very very beautiful scent and then in between these i have some purple chives at the moment they haven't really grown enough to be right next to the white chives so i can't really show you that for the moment but that's my tub of chives and then over there i've got some corn and what's left of i think french beans i'm not sure exactly because they were some plants that my in-laws gave me so i just planted them the corn again was just kind of thrown in there as an experiment just to stop the cats because i've had so much to do this year i haven't been able to have a ton of time to properly plant things and plan them out but that should change next year especially now that i've got the potting tunnel over by the fence that's where i'm hoping to eventually have an area for the beans properly so that i can have things trellised against the fence even though this area is shady it gets a lot of light and according to my mother-in-law who is a huge gardener they're going to grow just fine so i have no issues with trying it out all that wood needs to be cut up but that's a headache for another day and then in this big raised bed i've got well more cat deterrent just to stop them getting to my raised beds and then i have some swiss chard and this is another reason why i like raised beds because when i grow things straight on the floor my children just don't see that things are growing and trample all over it so that's another reason why i really love my raised beds and this swiss chard was the first time that i've ever grown it or eaten it to be perfectly honest and i love it i love the taste of the leaves i love the color that it adds to the dish i will be adding two more raised beds in this area once i cut down all that wood but that's a project for over the winter so i can get those raised beds sorted but the next big project for the garden i think after dealing with all these tomatoes which have gone a little bit mad is clear everything out of here i've got this lemon balm 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 plant that i'm trying to grow for my brother because he wants to start getting into growing herbs but this whole area just needs to be sorted out so the plan is is that i'm going to clear everything out i'm going to take all those tomatoes can them as you can see there are tons of them and that's not even showing you the ones which are behind the bushes and i'm going to be doing these corner raised beds that go along the edges of the polytunnel but then down the center of the polytunnel that's where i'm going to have those large buckets growing other things so that that way because they're black and they're full of soil during the day it's going to absorb all that heat and then it will release that during the night so that's one of the things that i'll be filming next along with having to clean all the rubbish which is built up on the outside of the polytunnel i've already got the wood chips which i'm going to be putting on the soil and inoculating with more wine cap mushrooms but for the moment that is a quick recap of the garden all the things that i've done and all of the things that i plan to do for the next few months
dream in tinted red and wake up to an empty bed, empty bed. I'm so used to this now. I'm getting.